Wendell. I'm just hoping that you'll be able to give us your informed opinion regarding the need for an equal age of consent in Queensland, because for the last 20 years, since sex between men was decriminalised, adult men, we've had a two-year higher minimum age at 18 for anal intercourse. So, can you see that this presents a problem for young people, and do you reckon that the age of consent should be equal at 16? Yeah, I think we need to make, make the age of consent equal, because the truth is we need to make all people feel equally valuable because if we want safety in society we need to have equal value of every person whether it's male, female or straight or gay otherwise people feel less valuable or different or stigma and that's really important because the truth is that most teenagers will start exploring sex before the age of 16 and currently even all the law says that all sex under the age of 16 is illegal and we haven't actually reviewed that law because that makes the majority of the population actually criminals. And we can't have a law that says the majority of the population is criminal. The other thing is that in terms of preventing youth suicide, in terms of creating safe sex information so that people can value themselves and protect themselves from sexually transmitted diseases like HIV and syphilis and gonorrhea and chlamydia, not just HIV, we need to be able to educate people so that they can value themselves and use information to protect themselves. I'm really keen that we don't stigmatise people, otherwise we get bullying or we get violence or we get even homophobic murder and I know at least seven cases of homophobic murder in Queensland so we need to attack homophobia. And one of the ways we do that is to say that everybody is valuable and if we have a law that says you are not equally valuable then that law is toxic and we can't afford those beliefs because otherwise we get what I call preventable violence in our society. And we also need to prevent youth suicide. And if you think that what you're doing makes you an evil person or a bad person or a person who has to do what you do secretly rather than honestly, then we, we get the link between sex and guilt. And that's a very toxic formula. If you attach sex to guilt, that means you feel bad about yourself. So you can't talk about what you're doing, you hide what you're doing, you can't actually experiment and talk. You have to experiment and have you probably learn by getting a fingers burnt from the experiment. It's much better to experiment and talk and so you can experiment and learn. That will make society safer, both in terms of disease prevention, suicide prevention and healthier, honest relationships. So as a GP, do you occasionally counsel young men or, or women, but especially young men in regard to the higher age for anal intercourse, who can see that the law affects them? Or is it that young people tend to have sex regardless of the law? Well, of course people have sex separate to the law and it's then only up whether they get caught or whether someone will drop them into the police. And even if people who are having sex with their peers, both of them under age 16, it's really up to the police whether it's seen as a criminal issue or whether it's a seen issue that would be best talked through with mum and dad. And so if it's a dip, an issue between a person under 16 and over 16, like a 17 or 18 year old, I do give them the information about the law so that they don't find themselves getting into legal problems, but that doesn't mean that they don't love each other. Yes. So they need to be aware of what they can do and what they can't do without breaking the law. But it doesn't mean that they don't necessarily do things that aren't outside the law. And so if we make them feel guilty or secretive, it's not healthy. Yeah. Now, there's a lovely young man 10 years ago that I interviewed up in Toowoomba who told me that his life was saved because he was able to speak honestly with his family GP at 16 about the fact that he was gay. And he said that he saw at high school how an, an effeminate boy of the same age had his life made absolute hell. And here was Don, a straight acting 16 year old at the same school who was passing and avoiding this. And he internalized the fear of being attacked to the point where he was having a nervous breakdown and turning from an A grade student, you know, A's and everything to failing. And yeah, it's just lovely that he could say that being able to talk honestly with his GP saved his life. So I'm hoping that uh, there are more GPs in Australia that are just like you. Yes, and already we've seen in the Northern Territory that the government made a rule that if doctors are aware of people under the age of 16 having sex, it's legal mandatory that they have to report them. Well, that's really breaching the safety of a doctor-patient relationship, which is really a disease prevention strategy and a life-saving strategy, otherwise people can't talk anywhere and are vulnerable to feeling depressed or suicidal. So, 
We need to have a society that one values all people and values honesty and looks at the reality of what people do and has laws that reflect that rather than have laws that say we'll use it to discriminate against some people and make some people feel less valuable or have to do secret things. Yeah, my suggestion is that if parents were to have an opinion on should there be any greater consent, what they should be looking at is, well, if I've got children, I really don't know whether they're going to be gay or not. And I would like the law to be able to protect my children with equity so that whatever the sexual orientation is, whatever their gender, they'll have a good chance of having a, a long, happy, healthy, loving life. And that, that begins with the law. The law can't make people love each other, but the law needs to reflect the value of people so that we need to reflect safety in our society. Yeah. 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 It's lovely chatting with you, Wendell. Thank you very, Thank you very much. much.